What's up, guys? This is a YouTube video for the challenge Huge from TJCTF, a recent capture the flag competition. This doesn't have a whole lot of solves, and I think a lot of people got pretty frustrated with it because it didn't seem like a web attack or really anything to start off with. So you have to do a decent amount of reconnaissance and just kind of guess and poke at a little bit. Um, the challenge prompt is don't think too deep, and it gives us a IP address and what seems to be a location on it. So some people would try this in the web browser, like, okay, go to that location, but it says the site can't be reached, that there was no location for it. So uh, I figured, well, okay, I'll do whatever reconnaissance I can over in the terminal. I'll actually go ahead and end map that IP address, and this will get us some results. Uh, some of them may be red herrings and what we're thinking, what we're, what we're thinking through, and that okay, there's SSH. We have port 80 supposedly open, but we didn't see him that way. Uh, 5901, I didn't do anything with, but I was very curious with 9418 because that was supposedly Git. So I'd never heard of that before. I actually checked out Git 9418 and I tried to understand a little bit more of that on uh, Google to do my research. Uh, I don't know why that browser thing never works. So I checked this out, and reading a little bit about it, it says it's actually just the Git protocol. And, okay, control f for that was not very good. But if I check out 9418, it says, okay, you can use that through the Git, like, notation here, not just HTTP or whatever the key, or SFTP, whatever, but it's literally Git as a protocol. So we could actually try and run that Git clone with Git and then that location, and we get cloning into huge. All right, cool. It looks like it's actually doing something, but compressing objects one out of 307, that took a lot of time, and it actually spits up on us. It breaks. Out of memory, malloc failed. That didn't work. So I tried. All right, what about just without the file there, without the folder huge or whatever? It looks like it got something, so I tried to move into that directory. It says, this is not the flag.image. I want to try and cat that out, but it didn't do anything. <laughs> However, it says there's actually a lot there, like 100 megabytes there. So I checked it out in hex edit, and this was just kind of funny. It's literally a bunch of null bytes. Cool. Whatever. <laughs> let me out. Please let me leave. Please, please let me out of hex edit. Thank you. <laughs> so huge dot git. There was nothing in here other than just look like a git repo. I tried to strings everything on this. I tried to grep for flag, etc., etc. So I realized, okay, I've got to get around this huge git thing that I tried to run before, but it just wouldn't let me. So I figured, well, is there any way that I could just get a portion of the file system or of the repository? Just download or git clone a couple of it. So I tried to research that, git clone um, only some of the repository, only some files. Yeah, and it, it says, after I dig this up for a little bit, I want to find... I don't know if I'll be able to exactly find... Oh, yeah, here it is here. I was trying to track down to see if I could find the exact result and answer that I was looking for. If you go ahead and get clone it, you can specify a depth of one or whatever depth or how far you want to go. Only get the most recent revision of each file. So I tried that. I tried to get clone setting depth equal to one, and I could get clone that. It got something huge. Check it out. And we have flag.txt. That is our flag. Awesome. So we could save that if we wanted to write, a, I suppose if you wanted to write a get flag script, not entirely necessary, but that is that for a couple 20, 25 points, I think on the game. Yeah, 25 points. So sweet, uh, just worthy of poking at, banging your head against the wall and trying to figure it out a little bit. Uh, hope that was pretty cool and I hope you enjoy it. Hey, I want to give a special shout out to my supporters here, the people that love me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. $1 a month on Patreon will give you a special shout out at the end of every video just like this. Uh, $5 a month on Patreon will give you early access to all of my videos before they release on YouTube. If you did like this video and you want to see more Capture the Flag video write-ups or other programming tutorial stuff that I do, please do like, comment, and subscribe. That sincerely helps. Um, Join the Discord server, link in the description. It's a cool community of CTF players, programmers, hackers, and so if you want to join a game with me or anyone else, that's the right place to do it. It's awesome for collaboration. I hope to see you guys on Patreon. That would be phenomenal, and as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks!